important to get more people of color, like, on the front lines of the sustainability movement, because right now, it's just not. Like, when you Google zero race, like, people like me don't pop up. And that's a problem. Hey guys, I'm Janu, and welcome back to my channel for all things intentional and low-impact living. So for today, I'm going to be testing out a couple different new makeup brands that are sustainable and seeing if they actually work on me or not. The first thing I'm going to do is just take some toner. This toner is by Osea, if it can focus. I'm just gonna spray that on my face and let that dry. What I like about Osea is that they use natural ingredients, they're cruelty free, vegan, and they're made in the United States. So now that this is dry, I'm going to take um, the Farsali Skin to Blur. Um, I've never tried this before. This is supposed to be a primer. Most primers come in a plastic um, bottle which I, so I was trying to find a primer that didn't come completely in plastic, so this was the best thing that I could find. But I've never tried it before, so we'll see if this actually works. It's supposed to like um, tighten your pores and make, the, um, and make your skin seem smoother, so we'll see if it actually looks smoother. I feel like all the Instagram girls, because they all, oh. Oh. I guess it's thick. It smells good, it smells like cucumber I'm gonna go ahead and take um, a little sponge sponge probably contains some sort of plastic but um, I've had it for a while and I'm just gonna keep using it so there's no point in buying new like a new eco friendly one um, when you can just use one that you already have but I haven't been able to find like an eco friendly one like even eco tools they're supposed to be more sustainable but like they're all wrapped in plastic so I don't know if there's a better option, let me know in the comments below. If you know of any plastic free um, brush options, definitely let me know. My foundation is from Pacifica. You can get this at Target or any drugstore. It's um, in the clean section of Target because you know how like, they have the normal section and like the clean beauty. And um, they apparently have a return program where you can send this back to them. So. Um, I've never tried that out, but I'm going to start doing it once I'm done with this one. Um, I've been using this one for a while, so I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out. Alright, so that's good. I guess I'm going to do my brows next. So I'm just going to take a angled brush and um, this is Cake Mascara from Essie Me. I've used this before, so I use this on my eyebrows. Um, it's supposed to be mascara, but... It's just too much work. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with it. It's just too much. I'm gonna fill those in. So if you don't know, um, Greta Thunberg, she went to a um, like a climate summit at the World Economic Forum um, in Switzerland, and there was a photo that was taken with her, and I believe like three or four other white girls, and there was one Ugandan girl in the end, and the Ugandan girl was actually cropped out of the photo, and it was like very clear that she was intentionally cropped out of the photo it wasn't like oh half her face got left out it's like no completely she just was completely cropped out and then there are people commenting saying that Greta was the focus so that's why she was cropped out and then I'm like well what about the other girls why didn't they get cropped out I'll sit up here and say that they wanted the focus to be on Greta and that's why she got cropped out no then why didn't anyone else get cropped out exactly so and to even say that it's like how is that girl taking away from Greta so that just didn't make any sense to me at all. but what I will say is props to Greta for calling them out and saying that they were wrong for cropping her out so props to her you go girl I am 100% supportive of her just enough <sighs> water break <laughs> But yeah, it's just like, I'm not understanding why this happened. And I feel like things like this happen all the time. And I'm just tired. I am tired of it. All right, so I like to use concealer under my eyebrows. Um, I bought this one from Kaija Weiss. This, this is actually a foundation, um, but I decided to try to use it as a concealer. So let's see if it works. I have a backup concealer in case like it doesn't kind of highlight as much as I want for my eyebrows. Um, so let's try it out. I'm just gonna take a brush and kind of dab it. What I will say about it, it's like, it's super nice. The packaging is beautiful. Like it 
it's amazing. And then you take out um, the this part and then you can just buy the refill and the refill is a little bit cheaper, but it's still definitely on the pricey side. Like it's just, I need something more liquidy. So I'm just gonna go in. I bought this um, Cover FX um, concealer and I thought it was going, and I thought it was in glass, but it's not, it's in, it's in plastic, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's in plastic, but you know, we're just gonna use it since we have it and we're not gonna waste it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this brush and kind of dip it. Important to get more people of color like on the front lines of the sustainability movement because right now it's just not like when you google zero race like people like me don't pop up and that's a problem and one of my goals with like building this brand and this channel is i want to show that sustainability isn't just some hippie thing that white girls do like it's something that everyone can do and on different levels not to knock anyone down not at all because i want us to all come together and work together and make the world a better place but it's important to have people that look like me and you think about sustainability because it's just important and it's not something that's just gonna affect one type of person, it's gonna affect everyone. So we need different types of people at the forefront of this movement. So I'm just gonna go in, go ahead and kind of do that a little more. The problem is that all these companies don't have people of color on their team because a person of color, like if I was sitting on, uh, when that whole thing happened with Tarte, like if I was sitting there, right, helping them create shades, I'd be like, mm, you can't just have all these light shades and then just have three, you know, brown shades. That doesn't make any sense. So the problem with like beauty companies, even clothing companies, like all these kind of racial incidents that keep happening is people of color aren't sitting at the tables on their teams being like, hey, this is not okay. And you don't have like a diverse group of people, whether that's thought or skin color or whatever, you're, you're always gonna make these mistakes because you have to have different sorts of people on your team who can be like, hey, that's not cool. So I like, these brands have no excuse anymore. I'm done, I'm tired of their excuses. Hire people of color and these problems will not happen. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, let's get back to this. Um, so I'm just gonna blend this out. A lot of work to be done, okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and use, um, this is a um, dark concealer from Pacifica. Um, again, they apparently, uh, you can ship their ship this back to them and they'll reuse it. So um, I try to use them, but I'm not going to do too much because I'm not trying to do the most today. They come packaged completely in bamboo. They don't do a refill system, but everything's bamboo or metal. So um, I'm just gonna take a um, all over brush and this is gonna go with the flow when I'm doing my makeup. Um, so let's do eyes right now. So I have a couple shades from Elate. Um, I'm just gonna do keep, I'm just gonna keep it simple today. So I'm gonna go in, um, with let's see this color right here and i'll link what color it is down below as well i'm just gonna go in i have noticed that a late like it's very loose so just be careful when you are set like that it's not getting on uh or it's not trickling down too much so then i'm just gonna go in with this color right here um i'll link it below as well Just gonna blend that out. Okay, then I'm gonna try a late um, eyeliner. The only thing, so I I kind of tried it once, but um, it comes packaged in bamboo, and inside of the bamboo is actually plastic. So that I don't quite understand because I'm like, do you need the bamboo on the outside if you're using the plastic on the inside? Not really. It just makes it kind of look cute. But I would have rather just had this as bamboo and then kept the plastic bottom as it is because then it's just like less waste because I, you're supposed to, you can compost the bamboo, which is great, but I just don't know how many people are actually composting it. So i rather just, you know, do without the second part of the bamboo and just kind of keep it simple. Let me see. 
I have seen comments about like people saying like why does sustainability have to be about race like why can't we just all come together and it doesn't matter who's at the forefront like no like the reason why it's important to have people from every different background kind of talking about sustainability is one we have to make it we have to make people who don't know about sustainability listen and people are just more receptive to listen to people that look like them so definitely one of my goals and definitely what i work towards too is like going into the community and talking to people uh, low-income people people of color about sustainability and getting them to care um, because i like came from where they came from and i feel like i can relate so I'm gonna go in with the Late's Mascara. All right, so for highlighter, I got this highlighter off of Etsy. Um, and let's see, I can't remember. Oh, it's from Dab Herb Makeup. Um, I'll link it down below. Um, but again, like a lot of the Etsy brands, like I, I they're doing good by like creating um, zero waste products, but like. The darker shades like probably wouldn't even work on me so there's a lot of work to be done but i'm gonna go ahead and see how this turns out i'm a little scared because it looks pretty light um also when i went to the detox market and i was trying to find highlighters it either like didn't show up or it showed up ashy and i'm just like i don't understand like i'm not even that dark and it's like what about all the people that are darker than me like what are they supposed to do if they're trying to find like sustainable beauty so let's see how this looks a little bright for me um let me just i guess blend this out with the sponge a little bit yeah it's the person that made the mm, see it looks kind of i don't know i don't know if you can tell on camera but it just looks white like it's just it looks ashy to me it doesn't look good all right, um, I'm gonna add some blush. So I'm gonna take this blush, which comes in bamboo, can't get, can't focus, and just dust a little bit on there. Also my makeup brushes I've had forever and I'm just gonna keep using them until they don't work anymore. And I'm gonna blend that out just a little bit. Put stuff on my lips. Um, I'm gonna go in first with a just some chopstick. This is from Lush, um, and it's in the flavor Rose Lollipop. So I'm just gonna put some of that on. Kind of like as it comes completely in aluminum, which is 100% recyclable. Um, and then let's see. I'm gonna go in with um, Better Balm from Elite Cosmetics. I have this lip gloss from Kaija Weiss, uh, the most expensive lip gloss I've ever purchased in my entire life. But you buy the, um, the full one and then you just buy the, re the refills, the bottoms, but these are still plastic, but I think these are recyclable. Are they getting recycled when you put them in a recycling bin? I don't know, but it's definitely a better option to lip gloss than your normal ones that you have to purchase the top and the bottom again. So I'm just gonna top it with a little bit of this. All right, so this is the final look. Uh, super simple, super easy. Um, I will link all the products in the description box below. Um, you obviously saw which ones I liked and which ones I didn't. Um, please let me know if there's any products that you want me to try and I'll definitely check those out for you. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Also turn on that little notification bell so whenever I come out with a new video, which is on Sundays and Thursdays at 6 p.m. PST, you'll be ready to watch them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.